Hi, in a previous video I showed you a very quick simple method to remove a green screen or other coloured background from an image so you can use it as a thumbnail for your videos or whatever it is you want to use it for. So how do we can create a transparent background PNG image and remove this background colour? Well I showed you before how uh, first step is to create an alpha channel like this. You've got your image so you've got to create a transparency channel. Once you've done that then we can go up and we can use, I showed you before how we can use the select by color tool here and then we can just go like this and then we can shift uh, left click in here shift left click, click again shift left click again until you get this basic outline like this and then, then you just press the delete key like that and Bob's your uncle right but in the previous video I showed you how you can actually be left with like a green fuzzy outline like this. It's not the absolute best, but you know, in many cases it'll get the job done in like two seconds. But if you want to fuss around and get rid of this green outline around here, I'll show you how to do this. So there's another way to actually do this selection. Instead of using the uh, select by color, you can actually use the fuzzy select tool. Just press U like this and once again you just left click in here. It hasn't uh, done any selection in here, so you hold down shift and you let left click again and then you do a similar sort of thing you just left click until you get rid of all this and you can see that fuzzy select a little bit down in there fuzzy select is done a reasonable job but you can see that you know it's still left like a green sort of halo outline so if you press delete like that to remove the background then you do have that background that green fuzzy outline so how do we get rid of that well in both the uh, fuzzy select and the select by color tool you have a feathered edges option like this so you can actually enable this and you can just go a slide bar like this and you don't want a high value say a low value. this is like number of pixels let's say like 10 pixels or thereabouts okay and now you can start going in and you can start fussing around with here so once again you hold down shift and you left click like this and you might find see that it kind of the closer you get to things it sort of starts fitting sort of form fitting around here so this is where you have to sort of like go in there and and fuss around you know and you may not be happy with you know the fact that it's chopped off a couple of pixels like that you may drop the radius down let's drop that down to five then we can just go around our image and we can start you know like just shift click in there and it'll sort of like form fit better around your image but this is where you have to pixel peep right <laughs> pixel peeping can ruin your life um, and but you can go in there and you can see how it's still got that bit of green fuzz around my face there we can sort of maybe get in there and once again you've got to shift click and sort of go around the edge and you can just tighten that up a bit tighten the selection up but you have to go around this is where you have to spend some time going around and particular stuff like hair like this. You might have to like click in a little bit of the hair like that to try and, and you're going to lose a little bit of hair over here. If you're not happy with that, it'll like contour out there. For example, if you're not happy with that bit of green in there, and you know, you might want to take that. Oh, yeah, no, it's created an island in there now. And yeah, yeah, there we go. That, that one fits a bit better. And... Uh, what, what about the fingers up here? Yeah, it's form-fitted my finger pretty good. I'm not going to fuss too much over that. But you can see how then, well, you've got fuzzy green hair thing here. You can just sort of like click and get a little bit closer each time progressively. But you really have to go in there and spend, you know, at least a few minutes. Could be tens of minutes going in there if you're really that fussy. And then sort of, you know, just fit that a little bit better. In, in here you can see like it's missed some bits there so you certainly want to go in there and tighten that up tighten that up a bit more there maybe the green under my like against my arm there in the background and it, it just gets slightly better and better and then it chops out some of it so look that one in there is a little bit of green so you might want to I want to tighten that up a bit and you know it's a compromise between taking out all the green and chopping off like some of the edge detail and stuff like that but there you go that one's probably a bit better now so if I press delete like that you'll see that there's not a huge amount of green tinge there there is still some there and you can probably see some green uh, sort of like slight green matrix looking tinge on my face here on my skin 
Um, so that would be like reflection if you don't light your screen properly and you get reflections onto your skin and, and stuff like that, then yeah. So it, you know, you can go in there and you can pixel peep even more, but that's how, that's a slightly better job. You can still see up, up here with the hair and stuff like that. So you might not be happy with that. So you just undo and then you just shift click to get rid of that a little bit more. And then you can get rid of those little islands in there and stuff like that, you know can really start to get a bit picky with this sort of stuff. So pixel peeping can ruin your life, but you can get a slightly better result. So there you go. That's that, that's pretty good. And now we've gotten rid of our green fuzz around our image. But once again, it's bled through the hair here. Like, yeah, there's like, I'm not a professional image editor. So, you know, I, I could go in there and do that a bit better, but that's a slightly better than what we had before. Uh, if we just spend a few more minutes in there, just tweaking the edges using the feather uh, radius tool. And as I said, that's available in both this fuzzy select up here and the select by color as well. You can also feather the edges. And then of course, if you want to export it, you just go export as and you save by type a PNG. So we select PNG like here, we export and then we can replace and then we can just save the defaults here, export. And that's created our transparent PNG, which we can then use uh, to overlay for our thumbnail or whatever you want to use it for. So there you go. Hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.